Okay, just wanted to show a quick demo we do in the circular motion unit. And so I have my Einstein action figure, but he happens to be hanging from a vine, swinging in the jungle. So he also kind of reminds us of Tarzan. So this is obviously my Tarstein demo. Einzan, it just doesn't work. So Tarstein is going to swing from the vine and we want to figure out the maximum tension and we're given, you might have a little trouble seeing this, but you should be able to uh, zoom in or something. So uh, we're given the angle that I pull Tarstein back and we're given the length and we have the mass of Tarstein and we want to figure out the maximum tension. So obviously we know that has to be down at the bottom where tension has two jobs. It has to hold up the weight and it has to make them turn. And additionally, in this problem, it's not uniform circular motion. Uh, he's speeding up as he falls down, and so he's going the fastest at the bottom too. So a lot of reasons why maximum tension's at the bottom. So free body diagram, Newton's laws, and then we find out that we don't know the speed or the radius either. And so the radius is just the length of the vine which is given, and that would be measured to Tarstein's belly button and then the speed we can use conservation of energy and so that looks simple at first but when you get to here speed is square root of 2 gh we're not given h and so it's something they've seen before but it's a difficult thing so it's good to expose it to them multiple times but really they have to work on this on their own to figure this out and so we can see that's l cosine theta this whole distance is L, so the height is L minus L cosine theta, or you could factor the L out. And so uh, this is our equation. If I solve it for tension, we substitute in for V squared. So I get 2GL, 1 minus cosine theta. We substituted L for R. And then what's kind of cool is we get an answer that's independent of the length. And so every year when I set up this demo, I don't really need to worry about what the length is. It's going to come out to the same math. And we get 0.84 newtons. Uh, then we check that out, and I'll do that real quickly. Uh, what's also cool is you can show that if we were to pull Tarstein back to a 90 degree angle, which would be pretty extreme, that his maximum tension then would be three times his weight. And so that would be very difficult for Tarstein to hold on. So, I've got the uh, uh, Tarstein hanging from a force sensor, so we can show if this is 0.84 newtons, which was our prediction. And so, if I hit start, it should be reading Tarstein's weight, which is point five newtons, 0.49 and we pull it back, and I have a protractor up at the top, 20, 30, 40, 50, but I pretty much pick 50 degrees because that's as high as I can reach without going on my tippy toes. And you gotta release him very gently, he'll wobble a little, and so that first peak tension is a little shaky, but we can take a look. So the first time through, uh, it's at a little, maybe a little more than 0.8, a little wobbly, but pretty close to what we predicted. And the angle measurement maybe is a little inaccurate. And so Tarstein, you could easily turn this into a student activity, but we just do it as a uh, sample demo problem. Uh, you, at your option, you can work in uh, Tarstein's uh, trademark yell.